Hey everybody, it's Vince from Spradley Kia here in Pueblo, Colorado, and I am going to show you today the 2022 K5 LXS 1.6 liter uh, four-cylinder vehicle. Um, this is Kia's flagship VS. Well, let me rephrase that. This is Kia's sedan that has replaced the Optima. And the Optima has been their number one selling sedan for multiple years in the past. But now they have brought over the K5, ba the K5 badging and uh, from South Korea. And now this is our, honestly our number one seller right behind the Telluride. Actually it could be in front of the Telluride because we sell way more of these than Telluride. Um, just because we get more of these in inventory. Uh, so today I am going to show you a standard walk around for with it and show you some everyday features. If you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe. Uh, I do want to get to 400 subscribers by October 30th, so about 45 days. Uh, I should be able to get there based upon my trending, but uh, 400 by October 30th uh, with your help would be greatly appreciated. And then likes. Likes always help the algorithm, so like and subscribe if you like what you see. So starting right at the front, you have the Kia Signature badging. I really am a fan of this new script badging. Uh, I like it a lot. I know some people are polarized on it, uh, but I am a big fan of that. You have the Tiger Eye Lights and the Tiger Nose Grill right there along with the daytime running lights in that amber color in that kind of V fashion, like a, like a signature V. It's kind of similar to how I do my signature. Uh, I'm a big fan of that. I, I mean, personally, I'm not a fan of the Optima or the K5. Um, every, you know, that's it's not my car. I drive what I want to drive. I drive the Stinger, but um, I do like these lights and so just because you don't like something doesn't mean you don't find value or beauty in it. So I really do like those lights a lot. Coming along to the side profile, you have this really nice ebony black, and then the interior is black as well. So the car is open, so this should work. It has a push and pop gas cap. So if the car is unlocked, then you are able to push and pop the gas cap open. If the car is locked, then you do not have that capability. So it'll stay locked. You have these really cool, nice machine finished uh, 18 inch wheels. Uh, big fan of those. I do like those a lot as well. Coming around towards the back. This one here is all-wheel drive, which is really nice. I've been getting a lot of people requesting the all-wheel drive models. Not all of the K5s are in all-wheel drive. Um, so make sure if you are shopping for one and that's something that you want, you get the right trim levels that, that come with all-wheel drive. But you have the rear lights that go all the way across the back, which I am a huge fan of. You have your rear deflectors and your exhaust there down at the bottom. You do have your backup camera right there along with your push and pop button for the trunk now I do like that this model here well not the model itself but what we always buy here at my dealership are the mats so we always make sure we send you home with some with some carpeted floor mats and then this guy has the rubber mat in the trunk which I'm a huge fan of I have rubber mats in my trunk I have uh, my daughter plays softball so she gets dust and dirt everywhere and it's nice to have that you know because of how you know what she plays underneath you should have the tire and the jack kit so that should be the 16 inch tire as your spare this guy has pass-through so if you need to fit large objects uh, in the trunk you have your buttons right here which you can pull and it'll drop that back seat for the pass-through well it'll release it but you have to go up there and, and push it back kind of another side profile here just to kind of showcase the ebony black what it looks like with the trunk open 
So I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna open the back passenger door. And I did release the pass-through hatch, so this should fold down. There we are. Child anchor, well, I'm sorry, that's not the child anchor lock. That is the, uh, the lock that latches it into the, uh, into the back seat there. But if you move this guy up, you could just do it with one hand. And if you are needing child anchor locks, child anchor locks are down here. So child anchor locks for your little ones. You have your map pocket uh, in your back seats. So I've always been a fan of those back pockets. Uh, my kids put a lot of stuff back there. Um, they're, they're useful. So this is the LXS version. So it, it is the base model. So back here you do not have air for your back passengers. That is not a, an option there. But you do have two USB ports down there which um, you know definitely helps for your back passengers if you are taking long trips and you just charge your devices um, you do have those USB ports there um, I know my kids love them uh, plenty of legroom I mean I'm 5'10 190 pounds give or take and plenty of legroom as you can tell you know right there get that reflection of the sun off Plenty of headroom as well. Up here you have your handle, so if you need to hold on to something, you have it there. But you also have this little garment hook, if I can get that in focus. There we go, you have the little garment hook right there as well. So you can uh, you know, put ha a hanger there if you have a suit or a dress or whatever you need that's going to be uh, hung up there. Same thing on the other side, you have one on the other side as well. And then you have a little back light right here. Kind of standard. There's kind of a look of the front cabin. Now these K5s, like I said in the beginning, are insanely popular. We've been selling a lot of them. I and mean, we got four off the truck the other day and this is the only one left. Um, my K5 videos, I mean I do have the 2021 K5 videos that I've posted before. Um, those guys have some of the most viewed on my entire channel and I have videos that you know have 10,000 views and you know, the K5s are right up there um, it's it's amazing how much interest uh, these K5s generate um, they are fast the 1.6 turbo is definitely a upgrade uh, you can feel the power you can you could definitely feel the difference which I'm a big fan of in in these ones so kind of some of the creature comforts here so even on the base model, if you have your key with you in your pocket, you can press the button and then that will lock and unlock the door. If you press it twice uh, in succession, it should unlock all four doors if you have that feature turned on. So this guy here also has blind spot detector. So blind spot detector right there etched into the mirror. So if you have someone in your blind spot, that guy will highlight orange. And then if someone's in your blind spot and you're using your turn signal, which you should be doing, then it'll also beep at you. So, I mean, even as a base model, this guy has Kia's DriveWise assistance package, and it has a lot of, uh, of those, those cool features that you have to go to a mid-level trim in some of our competitors. So that's blind spot, rear cross traffic avoidance, uh, lane keep assist, lane departure vehicle alert, um, driver attention warning with high beam assist which i'm actually a really big fan of my wife loves that feature as well um it, it, you know it's when your high beams at night adjust to oncoming cars without you having to do anything you have that here in a base level which is kind of cool and then your forward collision avoidance assist pedestrian so if someone kind of darts out in front of you um, it should you know help stop the vehicle for you not 100 percent technology obviously so um but it should definitely do that so right here, kind of going left to right, you have your standard door controls, you know, window controls, door locks, mirror controls. Oops, let me get that back in focus again. Window controls, door locks, mirror controls. You have your window lock right here as well. This model here does not have the automatic seats, so you do have the pump. So if you need to raise your seat, you can use that little pump right there, go up and down, and then you have your bar down there, and that bar will move you forward and backward. 
and go ahead and hop in. Turn this air conditioning down a scotch. Okay, so some of the new features that have come out in 2021, carried over to 2022, is this vehicle will will be turned off automatically and then there's a countdown. So you can set that to a half hour, you can set that to an hour, but it is something that you can set if your vehicle is idling for so long, then uh, it will turn itself off automatically. I'm gonna close the door also. All right, so kind of starting left to right with the instrument panel, you have your illumination button. So if you press that button with uh, the plus and the minuses, it's gonna illuminate and de-illuminate, which I'm pretty sure is a word. You, uh, your center screens, uh, you have your lane keep assist, your traction control, and then you have your trunk release right there too. You do have your hood release down there, right there as well. So again, here's your center cluster. You have that countdown, but I like how you have your distance till empty right there in bold at the top. You have, you know, 204 miles left till empty on this guy. It's at 71 degrees outside, and then it's only been driven 36 miles. This guy right here is the button, this little two pages button. That button will control that center, con that center screen so you can navigate from left to right uh, to the different options. So that is my favorite screen right there. I use that screen in my car. Um, so it tells you your average distance, your average miles. Okay, we get it. And then it tells you um, your, my, your miles per gallon to go. I'm just gonna throw this in drive real quick. There we go. Um, the little toggle switch right here, this little guy. So that's how you toggle up and down. So you could go through your trip info, your drive modes, and then if you use the two pages button, you can go uh, left to right and then up and down and see the different kind of settings. Um, multiple settings. I mean, if there's something you think that this car should be able to do, more than likely it does, um, even as a base model. So if we just go to, like, let's say driver assistance, if you want to manipulate the, the, war the warning time, you can do normal, you can do it late. Whatever your preference is, it can accommodate same thing with let's say driver attention so driver attention warning so you can set those at the vehicle departures so that's kind of cool if you're at a red light um, and the car in front of you goes and you're not looking it'll beep at you and there's a little there's a little icon a little animation there that'll say uh, you know vehicle of, ahead of you is leaving and then you can you know know to go um, some of the world needs that uh, forward safety so you have your driver's assist, You that means it's active, so it'll actually move you. Uh, actually, sorry, this is forward safety. So this is where it will actually stop. So if someone's in front of you, the car will actually apply the brakes to stop. You, If you don't like that, you can do warning only, or you can just turn it all off. Um, you'd be surprised how many people actually don't like some of these safety features. Um, same thing with lane keep assist. So that's where if you are veering into another lane, it'll beep at you and then move you back into your lane. You can turn that off. Uh, you can also make it just the warning. Um, so you can do, or you can turn everything off so there's no lane assist at all. So not horrible there. Blind spot safety, again, you can manipulate what you want it to do, how you want it to do it. Um, you can do this pretty much any way you want. And then there's dozens of other settings you can manipulate tire pressure it'll tell you what your tire pressure is pretty self-explanatory and then we're back there you also see your fuel gauge here your speedometer your trackometer um, your temperature gauge it's all right here so pretty neat coming to the steering wheel from left to right you have your uh, radio controls and then your phone controls this car has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay so you know it would connect to your smartphone pretty effortlessly I'm actually a huge fan of of those features I spend a lot of time in cars um, and honestly it just I like Apple's Apple CarPlay the best I mean I really I really am a fan um, but again answer call decline a call you can engage Siri or your or your voice assistant right there whatever whatever platform you're using and then your different modes modes will cycle you through your radio modes so you can set that to your convenience if you want just FM if you want AM FM if you want Sirius and then FM but no AM you can you can manipulate that however you want and then when you click mode you can cycle through those modes 
All right, on the right hand side, so you have again your toggle switch uh, left to right on the dash in front of you, your up and down switch, you have your uh, cruise control, and you have your this little guy. It's kind of new in the 2021s and you know 2022s, obviously, but if you press it, you're gonna see that little icon there right above the temperature, and that is your um, safety features. That is your drive wise, your active lane assist. Um, that that's how you activate that with just a push of a button. So um, you gotta remember, anytime you want to activate and deactivate it, you just press that button there, and they activate and deactivate. Pretty easy. Now the infotainment system. So you have this really cool infotainment system here that is kind of blended in with the center console. Um, it still, in my opinion, needs a little bit more of a of an improvement to make it seamless. But I do like that um, Kia has not made it where there's a break. It looks very it looks very seamless. Um, still, I think they could do a better job on the design. But again, um, I don't drive this car. I drive what I want to drive. So. Um, your radio menus you can connect your phone to it via Bluetooth um, if you just click all menus um, pretty self-explanatory you go right into radio I'm not going to use the radio because then YouTube will censor me with the whole copyright thing but trust me the radios here it works if you want to do a um, preset you just push the little star so now your preset is there and you got the little star and you want to take your preset off you just remove the star up here is your toggle switches for stations, AM, FM, HD radio. Go right into the menu so you can do multiple things there. You can go back a step, a little arrow takes you back, the little house takes you home. This is what I call home. My Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, when they're connected, you'll see those icons light up. Then you have your setup menu, and this is where you have you know some just advanced settings. You can go general, you can go vehicle which I want to see yep so you have you can you can manage your drive mode change alerts you can change your drive mode um, into a custom so you can manipulate you know power steering powertrain um, I'm sorry steering powertrain and and then the alerts again little house takes you back pretty pretty easy um, these cars are very very uh, easy to use uh, people love them I mean they really do fly off the shelves we can't keep them in stock this is our last one available and I think there's an appointment on it this morning so I wanted to get in do this video bright and early you have home link right here so that is if you have a garage door at home you can you know manipulate that and you can add home link to that which is really really cool I'm a big fan of that and then you have your dual climate control um, driver and passenger can be at different temperatures so if your spouse or significant other you know runs a little hot they can be there and you can be over here if you're the driver and then if you want to sync them sync right here will always sync it to the driver so if I press sync it'll always sync the temperature to the driver and then you have your blower speeds you have your directionals if you want it feet face to froster feet and face you can turn off the AC turn on the AC how you want your air recycled, rear defrosters, front defrosters, and you can just turn the whole thing off if you want. So let's talk about phones and media. So down here you have your 12 volt, you have your USB port, and then you have your charging port. And the USB port will also charge your, your uh, device as well. Right over here we have your electronic parking brake and you have auto hold. Auto hold is quietly my favorite feature. I love auto hold a lot. I use it a lot more than probably what most people do. But you know, if you have a kid that plays sports and you're waiting for them after practice, or if you're at a drive-through, or if you're just at a red light, what you would do? I'm just gonna throw this in drive real quick. So let's say you're going, you're going, and then you need to stop. What you can do is you put your foot all the way down on the brake, and then you press auto hold. And then you're gonna see an icon right there. So in green, right there above your miles you know traveled um, now you're in auto hold now the benefit of that is I can take my feet off the pedals so now I'm not touching the pedals my feet are off the pedals um, and you know you can shift around and like I said if you are not spending if you're not moving for a long period of time and you're kind of like I do it just because I'm frustrated really because the drive through is taking so long take your feet off auto hold boom you're fine you can you know move your feet around rest your feet whatever you need to do 
And then when you're ready to engage, when you're ready to leave, when you're ready to, when the car in front of you moves, all you do is put your foot on the accelerator and that's it. And then you're, you're going. It's, some people are a little afraid to use it, uh, but I don't know why, it's just super easy to do. And the beauty of it is in one engine cycle. So one t so you haven't turned the car off since you've, you've auto since you've used auto hold last. All you have to do now to re-engage it, because I have my foot on the brake right now, just press your fret foot more on the brake, like all the way down, and then auto hold will pop up again, and now you can just take your feet off the pedals again. So you don't have to keep hitting the button right here because you've been in one cycle. And some plastic still in there from the delivery. Um, drive mode. So drive mode, kind of cool, it's a knob. So you can throw yourself into sport, custom, snow, because it's all wheel drive, normal, and smart. Uh, my wife likes smart a lot. Um, I don't know. I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm indifferent on it, but smart is kind of, it'll learn how you drive. Like it'll throw you into sport mode if you accelerate really quickly. Like it, it kind of learns how you drive and how you, and, and where, where to put the different modes at for you. A lot of the time, in my experience, it kind of keeps you in normal between normal and sport, which depending upon how you drive, if you drive more normal, if you drive more sport. Um, I tend to stay in normal or eco, uh, depending upon what Kia you have, those should be about the same, which personally I just stay in, um, not, but my wife really loves that smart. You have your cubby here, so you have a big little central cubby, and it also doubles as the armrest so you could put your arm on. And then up top, one thing I want to make mention is there are no sunglass holders in this vehicle. So you do not have a sunglass holder here. Um, you, just, you just don't. You do have a little, like, little tray here, but I don't know. It's not exactly designed for sunglasses, if you ask me. All right, let's do just a quick little run around the block before we end, and then I will put this car back up on the on the rocks so it's kind of facing the street. Um, and I'm in drive still because this whole time I've been in auto hold. Just kind of do a little quick once around. The pandemic is starting to affect my dealership. We were fine through all of COVID, and then now it seems like cars are just really hard to get. Um, it's just one of those things where we really haven't had a lot of inventory. So, like I was saying earlier, you have to uh, you have to kind of these cars are kind of limited. You kind of have to jump on them um, if you kind of wanted one, because we we are not getting a lot of them in. And when we're getting them in, we're selling them either before they get off the truck because of people just calling in, or there's seven, eight salesmen where I work and all of us have a list of customers who want stuff and and we'll go off of pre-order first um, or ordering and then off of the deposits, people will put deposits on stuff and then, then the general public kind of thing, which is different, <laughs> it's very different. But I'm gonna go ahead and give it some gas right here. And give it some brake. Very smooth, cannot complain at all about this vehicle. Um, I know I said it's not, you know, the car's not for me. I don't, I'm not really a fan of it. That doesn't mean it's not a great car, it really is. It's just, I don't know, I've never really been into the big sedans. Um, I kind of like the SUVs a little bit more and then, then you know, my Stinger. But I don't know, It's I wouldn't hate driving it, but it's uh, it's definitely a great car. It's one of our best sellers. Um, highly recommend it. Um, wish I could say stop saying um a lot. You do have no key, it is a key fob and then you have remote start right there on the key fob as well. So even though this vehicle is a base model, you have remote start right there on the fob, which is kind of cool. Um, lock, unlock, uh, trunk release and panic, and then the physical key pops up with that little nub down there. Um, super great car. 
all right guys well thanks for watching if you made it this far i definitely do appreciate the views remember like and subscribe if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and i will see you guys down at the dealership thanks guys